More guns at the state capitol. A special legislative committee removed it from the Guns in Parks bill. The legislation is now headed to the floors of both houses. News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger is here to explain just what they'll be voting on. Well, Rory, as you know, the House and Senate passed different versions of the Guns in Parks bill. The Senate bill gave permitted gun owners the right to carry on the grounds of the state capitol. That part of the bill is gone. It was removed by a conference committee today of senators and representatives. They met today at Legislative Plaza. Their job, their job is, uh, was to find a bill that can pass in both houses. The bill they've put together still strips the city's ability to ban guns in parks. Permitted handgun owners will be able to carry in parks, greenways, playgrounds, and sports fields. The only time they can't is when there's a school using the park. The committee added language protecting gun owners who may not know there's a school, their school children in the park. It says if they find out or they're told they must comply with the law. One woman who opposes the bill says it's still confusing. I'm a mom. I have kids who go to schools that use parks. And by use parks, I mean they are adjacent to the schools where my children attend. Um, and I think there's still a lot of ambigu ambiguity um, about how this law is going to be applied. And the way it's written, you can take your gun right up to the property line of the school as long as the school isn't using the park. The bill could be on the floor of the Senate and the House as early as Thursday morning.